GameTrailers.com coverage of E3 2006. I'm Amanda McKay coming from the WebZen booth. Now you may not have heard too, too much about these guys just yet, but I can pretty much guarantee you that you will in the next few months. So let's go check and see what they've got to offer. Okay, Jason, so what can you tell me about Soul of the Ultimate Nation? Soul of the Ultimate Nation is an epic fantasy hack and slash MMORPG. Uh, it's a um, proprietary technology. It's our game engine. Uh, it's a beautiful game. Uh, it's been receiving a lot of props for just how stunning it is. Um, but it's also fun. Um, you get in and get out of it very quickly. Um, a lot of the MMORPGs that are on the market right now, uh, you kind of have to wait around, wait for people to get in. It takes a while to actually get into the combat. But this one, you can create your own maps, you can customize your play experience, and uh, it doesn't take you uh, much time to actually get into the game, have some fun. If you have 10 minutes or if you have 10 hours, uh, you can have a, just a total visceral uh, game experience. So the story behind Sun is that a, uh, an immortal evil emperor has uh, risen from the dead and is taking over the continent of Brecheon. And you are joining a rebel army to uh, basically strike him down and reclaim the land and make sure that uh, he goes back to hell. Why did you decide to focus more on the PvP aspect instead of the standard traditional exploration? Well, actually, um, Sun provides a really good balance of both PvP and exploration. Now, granted, it does have a custom map system that uh, unfolds as you progress through the game. As you go through your quests and missions, the storyline of the game will unfold for you. Uh, but once you unlock a map, once you play a map, you can then go back and replay it as many times as you want. And you can use it as a hunting map, um, or again, you can use it as your quests and your missions as well. Um, it's not a traditional sandbox, uh, landscape-based game where you have to spend hours running from point A to point B just to you know finish a quest or engage something. Um, so in that sense, uh, it's a little bit faster. Um, it's a little bit more uh, customizable for the user. and. Um, the combat itself is a lot more enjoyable uh, because you don't have to run so far to engage an enemy and find exactly what you're looking for. Now I heard this game recently went into beta in South Korea and Asia. How is it doing and how do you think it's going to fare here in the States? So Soul of the Ultimate Nation is about to go into open beta in Korea right after E3. Uh, there's a lot of anticipation for it there because this will be WebZen's second uh, MMORPG since they launched Mew in 2001. So players are very uh, fanatic about getting their hands on this game. A lot of buzz about it over there. So far, early word um, is that the game is hotly anticipated there, and we have a team in North America that's working very closely with the production team in Korea to make sure that it's localized and culturalized for the North American audience when we eventually bring it over here. Do you have any release dates for when it will come over here? We're looking at launching Soul of the Ultimate Nation in the first half of 2007. Huxley, what can you tell us that's exciting about this game? So Huxley is a Twitch action MMO FPS. That's a massively multiplayer online first person shooter. It's a mouthful. The story behind Huxley is that uh, it's set in the near future on Earth and there's been, been a, a destructive force from outer space called nuclearites that have bombarded the Earth and uh, transformed man into two uh, different factions, the Sapiens and the Alternatives. In addition, there's a third race called Hybrids, which as you can assume, is uh, the result of crossbreeding between the Sapiens and the Alternatives. The hybrids are NPCs and add a really exciting element uh, so that as you're fighting the Alternatives, you may be in, in a battle and all of a sudden a common enemy, the hybrids, may come in and you're going to have to join with your enemy uh, race to uh, survive against the uh, NPC character hybrids. What are the rewards for winning battles? You level up as you progress in the game. For example, you're not just going to be able to hop in and fly an aircraft. You have to earn a license. You have to get your driver's license to drive vehicles or fly something. Can you describe to me how many players will be able to join the battlefield at one time? Sure. So the persistent side of it is the actual city that your character will reside in and where most of the community interaction will take place. And that's up to 5,000 people in one area. Um, outside of that, when you want to go 
and uh, get into the battle areas will have as low as two on two death matches all the way up to 200 people in one instance battle area. So that's 100 on 100 PvP. Can you discuss the ability for PC and 360 gamers to play together in Huxley? So one of the things that we're really excited about is Huxley will be not only on the PC, but also on the Xbox 360. But that's not all. They're also going to be cross-platform. So if you have a 360 player and a PC player um, that want to get together in the same uh, server, the same instance battle area, they can both play with and against each other in that zone. When are you expecting to ship both versions? Uh, the uh, PC version will launch in uh, 2007 and will follow about six months after the 360 version. Okay, Jason, what can you tell us about the concept of Project Wiki? So, Project Wiki is a cell shaded, uh, whimsical, fairy tale based MMORPG. So with Project Wiki, um, it's going into beta pretty soon in Korea, and it's something we'll look at for North America. We wanted to get response from you guys, the press, and uh, from some of the channel partners here at E3 to find out what you think about the game. Um, pretty soon we'll uh, be bringing into focus testing and get response from actual players. And what we're hoping is that um, it's going to appeal to a younger demographic, um, you know, maybe late teens, early 20s, and uh, also more uh, female players as well. It has a lot of depth to it, so don't be fooled. It's actually a very detailed, very rich uh, video game. Uh, we think that there is a market for games that aren't about running around uh, with really, really, really big swords, slaying dragons, and saving princesses. Now, this is an MMORPG. Project Wiki is an MMORPG, but the cell shading uh, artwork, uh, we're hoping that people will find that, um, the, the color, the, uh, the appeal of, you know, that Asian art, uh, to appeal to uh, North American gamers that like that art style. In addition, um, it does have combat, it does have quests and missions, it does have community interaction, some amazing community interaction. Facial expressions uh, on these avatars are like you've never seen in an MMORPG. that you're seeing, so make sure you head on over to the GameTrailers.com forums and speak your mind. I'm Matt McKay for GTTV, and I'll see you soon.